in search of soil. So, so mycelium itself, what is it made out of? It, it gets culled. It's not producing anymore. It's left in the soil. What is now in the soil when other microorganisms can come digest that? What is it made out of? Well, it's, I mean, the, the cells of, of mycelium are pretty similar internally to animal cells and plant cells. So they have eukaryotic cells and basic you know, biology concepts. Uh, prokaryotes are bacteria with really simple cells. Um, and the eukaryotes are more evolved. Plants have, uh, so animal cells are just kind of like water balloons and we have all the, the, um, organelles and the nucleus and things inside that, but the, the, we have soft tissue, right? Plants have a cell wall that includes cellulose, hemicellulose, and potentially lignin if it's a more woody plant. And that gives the plant structure to grow upright without flopping over unless it's, um, a simpler plant. And then, um, and that's one of the distinguishing features of plants is their cell wall structure. Fungi also have a cell wall, so it's an extra layer beyond the the water balloon, the cell membrane that contains the the internal components. But their cell wall is different from plants. So its primary compounds are uh, chitin. It's the same compound that makes up insect exoskeletons and lobster shells. So microscopically, it's a very thin layer, but it's still rigid, firm, gives the fungus structure and a bit of protection from the pressures of water or, or being inside of a log or inside of the soil. Um, and then it, that's about 10% of the cell wall structure. The other 80 to 90% are high weight table sugars and, or excuse me, at high weight sugars and not table sugar. So much more complex than fruit sugars or table sugar, a very long chain, high molecular weight, very complex uh, sugars. And sugars are made up of, uh, they're called polysaccharides, and they're made up of monosaccharides, individual units of carbon rich rings tons and tons and tons of carbon. And this is what prim primarily forms the vast majority of the fungal cell wall is, is, you know, I don't have the exact percentage, but it's a ton of carbon. Um, a lot of these sugars are actually what we attribute some of the medicinal effects of fungi to. So it's, it's, that's where a lot of that comes from is these medicinal, these sugars, some of these sugars. And a lot of that, again, just folds away and is easy to be digested by microbes. It's a, it's essentially a sugar. The, the bond between each of the monomers is the same type of bond you'll find in simple fruit sugars. Uh, you just have many of them strung together in one super long chain, whereas simple sugars are just a few of these monomers and they're fairly short. And so that's a lot of what's left behind. Uh, again, 80, 90% of the whole cell wall, you know, a lot of this fungal structure, what makes it unusual or, or different from other organisms is, is this material. Uh, and I guess, well, I guess just last bit for the people that want all the details on the exterior of it, this is a little bit more, it's pretty interesting. There is also a thin layer of proteins, um, which are fairly um, hydrophobic. And so it actually repels water. And it's actually thought that this helps the mycelium glide through its substrate more easily because it's sort of sliding through it and pushing stuff away, um, which has an effect on the qualities of mycelium as a structural material. It makes it fire retardant. Actually, it makes it more buoyant and things. Um, but Maybe that's, that's more of an aside. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out some of the great clips and watch the full interviews right here on In Search of Soil.